We're live. I'm back. We're back. The Arts Council of Rockland is back. Um, I had to track down the fourth artist in the show. This is Maria Teresa Ortiz Nareto. Did I get it right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yay. Um, hi, Maria Teresa. Hi. And I'm just going to let people take a quick look at your work before we um, have a chat with you. So I'm just going to give people a very quick, but you know, they really can't tell. They can't really get the full impact unless they come here and see it, which I hope you do. Like you cannot get the full Im impact of this incredible texture um, uh, on these canvases. So anyway, um, let's let's talk. All right. Okay. Do you want to well, tell us what, what would you like us to know about your work well, or about what we're looking at? Well, let's try to make something fast. Um, <laughs> Doesn't that have to be fast? I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> if I can. Um, first, we, I would like to talk about the technique because it's something that is the first thing that people ask me. Um, I like to work um, a la prima. A la prima means that I'm working wet over wet. So the painting is wet always, over wet. Yeah, mm -hmm. the painting is always wet. I first uh, get a ground. I paint a ground that with a yellow color that you don't see, but it's there. And many times I mix that ground in the next layers of painting that I am putting on my work. So how I work after that ground, um, I use cold wax and oil. My uh, work is always oil painting. I love to paint on oil. I even I had work on other techniques or maybe in my sketchbooks I have a lot of uh, charcoal and pastels and those are the words that I never show. Um, mm -hmm. What I like is uh, to show what I produce on oil. Um, so why I use wax and why I use cold wax? Because mm -hmm. cold wax allow me to create these different textures that you can see in the paintings and I can play uh, with profuse texture and less texture so at the end the painting as a whole is like a sculptural uh, paint uh, where you can see different uh, um, different levels of, uh, of proximity to the viewer. Okay. So it's some kind of 3D without being a 3D. And this is an interesting thing about my work because I said that about the technique However, the space couldn't be flatter. <laughs> mm. My space in all the paintings is always flat. And I play that with the intention that the viewer get trapped in the painting. So during the Renaissance, we have the perspective that painting goes inside mm. and you get trapped because you are doing, looking at in a 3D space that is that illusion. I did exactly the opposite. I want the people to get trapped for a space that try to be um, made a game from the textures, from the uh, technique, which is a 3D, but at the end, the space is flat. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, um, sometimes, um, some of the, some people say, oh, okay, but well, they produce some kind of a sense of being um, claustrophobic, being, but, I cut that sensation by putting a lot of colors. My paintings are very colorful. Mm -hmm. um, I don't use many colors, however, I create a colorful space uh, because of the way that I am putting this on the, on the canvas. So for me, since the beginning to the end, it's like a game, but it's a game that I completely think in every single way. So that's all about the technique. Mm -hmm. the space, um, how I produce my paintings. No, I would like to say what I am trying to accomplish in this series. Please. This series. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in this series, I went to Long Branch alone after 20 years of being always with my kids mm -hmm. and families. I went alone. And I, I went with the intention to find myself. So the first step that we did was, uh, uh, was looking at the window that were transitioning the same scene that I was doing, which is serving our children. And I, if I had to do it again, of course I would do it again. But now 
I start a new step in my life when my children saw the left the nest. So it was the moment to start to think about myself. So these paintings are the start looking at the women because I was actually in the of myself. And I was trying to find who is that woman that was looking at the women. Um, so that's why all the series, which is a nine and some pieces of paper that also are all paintings, all on paper, um, are uh, a search about myself uh, that is started by the Thank you. No, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for for sharing and um, you know giving us a little bit of um, background um, and insight into your work. Uh, I just really wish people could see it uh, up close because it's really it's really stunning and it's uh, so look at, yeah, please. Uh, look at these paintings. That, the last yeah. days that will be here. On, on yeah, here. we are here. Um, probably through the first week of June. Um, so you definitely have time. So I hope you will come and check it out. Thank you, Maria Teresa. Thank you. <laughs> come back. Bye. <laughs>